be secret and exult. Because of all things known, that is most difficult. When the poet Yeats wrote that early this century, he couldn't have dreamt how true that would be for a group of dedicated aerospace professionals in the pursuit of the advancement of technology. It is difficult to imagine achieving a unique level of accomplishment and not being able to express it. But those were the rules then. In the late 1970s, the United States was committed to a policy of detente with the former Soviet Union. While the Soviets spoke of arms control, they deployed massive conventional forces, posing a serious threat to global security. To counter this potential danger, the United States adopted the strategy of employing superior surveillance technology and techniques. In 1978, the then Northrop Corporation received a contract to meet this technological challenge head on. The classified project was so shrouded in secrecy that at one time the U.S. Air Force claimed that it would never be revealed to the public. It was given the code name Tacit Blue. We were given a very challenging task. The, 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 the whole program was exciting. It, it's hard to break out what's most exciting. You're working with a very talented group of people as a team. There's a lot of com camaraderie, esprit de corps. Well, I, I, I believe we did aviation history, and I believe that the airplane was saved uh, for historical reasons, and I, I imagine that someday this was ha would happen. In fact, I wish it had happened a few years earlier. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's, uh, there are people that uh, should share in this that have, have, are now deceased and, uh, and they should, um, it's a great day for all that worked on the airplane. To test the very latest advances in aviation stealth technology, the Air Force, Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency and Northrop Aircraft ultimately proved that curved surfaces could result in low radar return from ground radar. It's the aerodynamics of the vehicle that are so different from anything else because the airplane is aerodynamically unstable in yaw and pitch. So as a result, you have to have a computer uh, controlled flight control system which gives you the flying qualities of the airplane. With the stealth features first demonstrated by Tacit Blue, an aircraft could safely operate close to the battlefield forward line with minimum fear of detection while sending vital information to ground command centers. On May 22, 1996, the U.S. Air Force unveiled the Tacit Blue aircraft in a ceremony where many of the program's key contractor, supplier, and government personnel received the recognition they long deserved. Affectionately known as the whale it resembled, the plane joined other historic aircraft in one of the most spectacular aerospace museums in the world the U.S. Air Force Museum in Dayton, Ohio. I can't think of a, a better reason for us to get together in this afternoon and to, uh, and to unveil and dedicate a part of Air Force history and place it in, a, in the Air Force Museum. And at the same time to recognize a group of people, folks who participated in an important technology demonstration program program which helped us to address the many challenges that, that the uh, low observable programs had in the early 1980s. Tacit Blue was one of the most successful technology demonstrator programs in Air Force history. It met all program objectives and most low observable and sensor performance objectives. This has clearly been one of the nation's uh, best kept secrets. 
And I think you can see why it was affectionately called the whale. The reason for success of Tacit Blue, in my view, was perhaps the unprecedented teamwork and personal dedication demonstrated by Northrop, the subcontractors, and the government people working on this activity. This day is a tribute not just to the whalers and Tacit Blue's accomplishments, but also to all of you on the outside, who through your forbearance, love, loyalty, and trust, provided the selfless support so necessary to the success of the Tacit Blue project. I would like to read something that was written by a team member, which I believe best reflects the spirit of the whalers. For it is the lot of some men to be assigned duties about which they may not speak. Such, Such work, work is, is not, not for every man. But those who accept the burdens implicit in this silent labor realize a camaraderie and sense of value known to few. These memories cannot be stolen. They will last always, untarnished, ever better. Although only a few people were able to attend the tacit blue ceremony, others were there in spirit. The hundreds of Northrop Grumman employees, subcontractors, and customers who dedicated many years to this program. After enduring years of a silent odyssey set adrift on strange seas, this whale and her whalers are finally recognized and home at last, displaying for the future their spirit of innovation.